Hello my friends, my name is Stefan Foulon. Welcome to our new Norma Academy video. Today I will take you on a digital short strike seminar. It's very important for me to say right at the beginning that the deer was killed in a car accident and we decided to take this deer and do well our scientific project with it and show you the aftermath of different shot placements on deer and how you can determine them. The most important thing after you took a shot on a deer and the deer drops not inside is that you go and look for the point of impact or the point of strike. The point of strike is the point where the deer was standing while it took the shot. And this point will tell you everything you need to know about where your bullet actually hit the game. The bone fragments and the type of tissue you find at the point of strike have to determine your next actions. In this first episode of the Norma Strike Seminar, we will show you what to look for at the point of impact uh, if you hit the front leg. Hitting a front leg is unfortunately pretty common among hunters worldwide uh, due to several reasons. One reason could be that the shooter underestimated the distance between him and the animal and therefore also underestimated the bullet drop. So instead of hitting the heart and lung area, the bullet drops too far and you just hit the front leg. Another common reason for a front leg impact could be that the shooter flinched right before pulling the trigger. This causes, uh, usually flinching causes the barrel to drop a little bit and therefore we get a lower point of impact. If you come to the striking point and you find tubular bone fragments that are round tubular shape or you find bone marrow then this is a safe sign that you hit the front leg or the rear leg and you do not have a lethal hit. So for the front leg we will aim at this part here because it's very typical you aim at the shoulder try to hit the lung but the bullet drops and uh, you land somewhere here but we'll show you. Caliber of choice 30 out 6, bullet of choice Norma Echo Strike, lead free. We will aim at the front leg. So this is the aftermath at the strike point if you hit a deer in the front leg. Uh, what's very typical is these round shaped uh, bones. If you find those they will tell you that you hit the deer in the leg. Um, another very typical sign is that we find very little to no blood but we find a lot of meat. This here is just meat. A lot of meat parts bursted every, everywhere from the tremendous power of the bullet. So, as you probably can tell, this is really, to a certain extent, forensic work. You will have to check this. You shot a deer at 100 yards and you will look for those little meat parts that are sprinkled everywhere on the ground and most important those bones so what you see this is not a straight bone and um, this is somewhere in the calf area or upper leg area and you can tell it by being curved like this same as this one here this even more very curved and the inside is greasy. You have a grease, like a greasy stuff on the inside that tells you, okay, this is part of the bone marrow. So you have those tubular bone fragments everywhere. Here tubular as well. See that round, that angle in that bone. If you find meaty bits like this, you can automatically tell 
uh, you hit either front or rear leg because that meat just belongs to the front or to the rear legs. And what we also find here and here and here are parts uh, of the coat. And the color of the fur, the coat you find, will tell you uh, which area you hit as well. Uh, you have to know the animal you hunt. Um, I know, for example, that roe deer have much lighter hair on their lower body. So everything, the stomach area and the insides here is all, always covered with light to blonde haired uh, fur. Um, and this is exactly what you find here as well. So this is another indicator if you find hair like this um, with a certain shape and a certain color uh, where your uh, point of impact was. And that's it guys, this was the first episode of our Norma short strike analysis. I hope you liked the video and learned something today. If so, subscribe to the Norma YouTube channel. This helps us to produce videos like this. And most important, tell me in the comments what you would like to see next. So stay safe and keep on hunting.